Hello and welcome to the Dusty Joypad. I'm Martin and today I'm replaying Road Rash 2 for the Mega Drive. Let's get it on! So today what we're going to do is go through all five tracks, see what they're about and have a bit of fun with them. Haven't played it for about a month or so actually since we very first started doing the channel so I thought I'd give it another go. So let's start with Alaska and see what it has to offer. Oh, no, that's exit. So let's just press Alaska. Hold on. And that's exit again. Let's try Alaska. Third time's a charm. Ka-ching! What? Can I not select them from here? Apparently not. Can I not? Seriously? About Hawaii? No? Okay, I'll tell you what then. Let's rethink our uh, thing and just do start race. And we'll just go all through, through all five races. Okay, let's get it on. Okay, so yeah, the reason I'm replaying this is, is two reasons really. Firstly, this was the second. Oh, this was the second game that I ever recorded for the channel, and the very first two videos I did. The very first one was Streets of Rage, and then I did this one. Uh, but the thing you'll notice about those two games is that I didn't do any talking through them, and that was because. That were the very first two videos. I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, I was testing out the recording software. And, oh, flipping it. And to be fair, I was a little bit nervous about talking in front of, uh, well, not front of the camera. I, actually, I couldn't get the camera working. That's why I'm not actually appearing on the videos because I couldn't get the camera working. But to be fair, I actually prefer it not being able to see myself. And I'm sure you guys don't want to see me just sort of frowning in front of the camera and whatnot, you know, when things are going wrong and just in general, really. So, uh, oh, there you go. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I thought I'd replay it and oh, give him a punch. There we go. And uh, just, um, yeah, have a bit of fun with it. Chat through it. Now, second reason I'm playing this is because I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Chris 16 bit. Now, I've not officially given him a shout out on the channel before and he did a really nice one for me the other day so I thought I'd return the favour. Now so oi, what are you doing? Oi! Oh look at that I've got the chain how about that? Ah oh. oh. scraping across the road. Okay. Oh he's dizzy. So let's run back. Oh look at him look at his spindly arms and legs. Oh, oh look I'm not the only one falling off on bike. Oh and the Apparently I'm just smashing my way through cars these days. I've got maniacs on the road and I can't actually get I can't actually get uh, run over apparently. So that's that's always a good sign. So uh, I'm immortal. So um, anyway, so Chris 16 bit. That's what I was saying. He gave me a nice shout out. I thought I'd give him a nice shout out as well. He was one of the very first YouTubers that I found into uh, interested in retro gaming when I very first started. And uh, I, I was watching it, I subscribed to him and I was watching his videos and whatnot and then he soon subscribed to me and it was, it all become very nice, nice and friendly. And uh, I've got a lot to thank Chris for actually, but he might not realise it, but you know, I watched a lot of his videos and you know, it sort of gave me a bit of confidence and whatnot. It, it was just nice. Oh, it's the police and I just fly over his head. Oh my gosh, is that even possible? Anyway, that was good though because, uh, yeah, I didn't get arrested. So anyway, one of the things, if you check out Chris's channel, is that he's a massive fan of bikes. He's a bike fan, he's a bike owner. He owns a nice fast motorbike and, uh, well, I presume it's fast, I've never ridden on it. Uh, I'm not actually a bike fan myself, to be fair. Sorry, Chris, uh, I've been on bikes before and they scare the absolute life out of me absolutely hate the things. Ah, oh, finished. Second place. That's not too bad. So, um, yeah, I thought, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give a nice little special thanks to Chris and I'll play Road Rash 2 because I think I think he likes this game. And, uh, yeah, there we go. And what I've also done... Oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Ah, oh, look, and you'll also see we're playing as Chris as well. There we go. It's, it's personal now. Oh, Lawson. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just ignore him. So let's crack on. Start race is taking me back here. Where did we just race? Where did we just race? I can't even remember. 
Let's do start race and see where it takes us. See where it takes us. Was it we a different place? I think it's a different place. I'm sure it's a different place. Okay. So anyway, I was thinking about this today, and uh, I thought it'd be really nice to play this again. So what I'm thinking is we are actually playing as Chris, riding his bike one day through the fields, enjoying the scenery, and uh, beating up other bikers. So let's uh, let's beat up some bikers. Let's have some fun. Move out my way. What? Oh my gosh, he just fainted. Chris, you don't do this, do you? I'm sure you wouldn't do this. Oh my gosh, did you see that? These people are trying to kill him. What have you done, Chris? What have you done to annoy these people? Oh, well, that guy's called Rude Boy anyway, so you got to expect that, I suppose. Right, come on, we're last place now. Let's, or are we? I don't know. This, I see some in my rear view mirrors, actually. So as long as we keep them there and uh, we plunge forward, we'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. I'll tell you what, this was... A, I used to really enjoy playing this game when I was a little boy. This was good. I know it looks a little bit naff now, but... Oh my god! Seriously. Oh, check you out. Check you out. <laughs> Sorry, mate. It's Chris, it wasn't me. It was Chris. Blame Chris. So, uh, yeah, I used to play this quite a lot on my Mega Drive. This was good fun, this was. And uh, since I started playing it again, actually, I've got a Nathan, my little boy, into it, and he really likes this, so, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm sorry, Chris, I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, he's really into this, so every time we play things, I, I'm not too sure what video it was, but I, I know I had him on a couple of my videos earlier on uh, in the month, and um, he was he was with me for three of them, and uh, Nathan this is, and he kept saying, oh, play the bike game, play the bike game. He was on about this. He absolutely loves this game. And he plays it every... Oh my good lord. He does play it every now and again. Not by himself, obviously, because he's only three and his fingers can't reach all the buttons on the controller, but you know, give it time. Give it time. Yeah, so I've been on a bike a couple of times, actually. I've obviously, you know, pedal bikes, no problem. You know, I've, I've got a mountain bike. Tyres aren't pumped up, mind you, but, you know, I can cycle it uh, when I pump the tyres up. But um, I've been on a bike a couple of times. My mate's dad... He was a, uh, oh my gosh, here we go. My mate's, uh, mate, oh my god, I can't even talk. My mate, why is there a bear in the road? My mate's dad was a, uh, a massive biking fan and he took me out on his bike before and it was one of the scariest days of my life. Although we weren't out for a day, we was out for about, I don't know, 45 minutes, an hour or something. And uh, we were going up the motorway at goodness knows what speeds and I just felt like I was going to fly off the back of the bike. It was the scariest thing I've ever done. Seriously. You know, I mean, you know, we're two fellas, you know, we're two fellas and uh, I, I didn't want to give him the wrong idea by, by cuddling him and all that business. I was in my, you know, early to mid-20s at the time, so it was, it was a while ago. I didn't want to give him the wrong idea, so I was just holding on to the handle on the back of the seat. Chris is probably going, oh, you noob, what are you doing? So I was literally handing on, holding on to the handle at the back of the seat behind me and every time what he'd do he was giving me a little tap on the leg saying we're going to open up now we're going to go mental on the bike and uh he'd open up and i literally felt like i was going to be flying hey i've done it only sixth place sorry chris you're sixth place today and i literally felt like i was going to fly off the back of the bike oh look at that look at that oh, let's have a sip there we go uh what on earth is he saying? Whoa, fool, you white little da bra. I ain't got a clue what he means. I don't know if anyone can enlighten me on that, but... Okay, where are we going now? Ah, oh, next race, Tennessee. Tennessee. I used to work with a lady, and um, she was from Tennessee. So uh, that, was, that was interesting. She is a good lady. I don't know how she's doing these days. Julie, her name was Julie. That would have a good few years ago. Have I got that? No. So, that's the thing I love about this game. You can get mallets, not mallets, um, you know, like walloping sticks. I forgot what they're called. We'll call it a walloping stick. You get walloping sticks and chains, and you just absolutely wallop people with them. You just give them what for. It's absolutely brilliant. Look, there we go, right off the bike. Look, it's still going. That is excellent. What's the name? Kakana. Ah, oh, good old Kakana. 
sign him up. <laughs> yeah. There's a, um, I don't know, you know, if many of you guys are into playing games on Steam or whatever, but there's a game uh, that's out on there. It's a couple of years old now. I think it came out in 2014. And uh, so it's got modern graphics and, you know, all that sure has. But it's got, uh, like, gameplay just like this. It's called Road Redemption. Um, I don't think it's made by the same people that made this. I think they might have, um, you know, colluded with them to sort of get ideas and, you know, stuff. I don't really know. But uh, I've seen, like, video clips of it and I've seen screenshots of it and it looks really, really good fun. So... That's Road Redemption on Steam. I'm going to check it out at some point, and if I do get it, and I'm sure I will do one day, oh, there's a policeman, let's whip him. <laughs> um, if I do get it one day, I'll play it on here, and uh, that'd be really good fun. Maybe, I don't know whether it's two player, if it's two player, and uh, uh, you know, a lot of games these days are online multiplayer, aren't they? <laughs> whip! <laughs> ah, double chains! Dueling chains! Chain to the face. Chain mail. And uh, anyway. So, what's it saying? Oh yeah, Road Redemption. So yeah, it'd be really cool if uh, we could do two player on it at some point. Me and whoever, I don't know. I'll have to get the game first, but... And obviously the other person will as well, but... Okay. Ah, first place. Chris, we're doing alright, mate. We're doing alright. I'd like to note that... Uh, oh, wait, he's got a wallet me. Wait, get away. There you go. Um, those of you who haven't watched it yet, you may have watched it. Uh, we did a challenge on Lotus Turbo Challenge earlier on in the week and several other YouTubers have taken place uh, and uh, taken part, sorry, not taken place, that's completely the wrong word. And uh, yeah, we were all trying to beat each other and, you know, it, in fact it all started off as uh, it was the YouTuber Cerberus Let's Play, he just did a game of it, he did a couple of races of it. And, uh, oh no, what are we doing? Honestly, come on, Martin. Come on, Chris. What are you playing at, Chris? I thought you was a, I thought you was a good biker. Come on. So, uh, yeah, so he started playing the game, had a go of it, and I thought, ah, oh, because I get on quite well with Cerberus, so I've been chatting to him, and, oh my gosh. Now look at that. They're absolutely mullering me. Fourth place. Have I still got my thing? Yeah, cool. Puffy. Puffy's here. Oh, and I've finished. How, how unlucky is that? I wonder if that's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That'd be interesting to know. Right. Public enemy number one. I will never tire of beating up on you. Oh, that's very nice of you. Okay, where have we got next? Arizona. I presume this is going to be deserty. I'm waiting for my favourite tune to come on here. There's a tune. Oh, that's a bit of a slow song. Oh, I haven't got my whip. My chain. The, um... Yeah, there's my favourite song on... Well, it's not my favourite song, obviously. You know, I, I like music in real life as well. But my favourite song on this game... Uh, I'm not going to do a rendition of it for you because I'll absolutely murder it. Uh, but I know it's on Road Rash 1 because I was watching um, Immortal Mark 93 play Road Rash 1 the other day and that song uh, appears on there and he started making his own little lyrics up to it and it was highly amusing you should check it out but I, I'm sure it was on this game as well oh my god I'm sure it was on this game as well do you know what? It makes me wonder about this um, this place that we're in it's like every single person out here is out to hurt the bikers even the other bikers Look, even the cars, they're not moving out of the way. You literally have to move out of their way. And, you know, I'm not being funny. Am I going to fire? No. You literally have to move out of their way. And they're not looking for you. They don't move. Okay. Anyway, right, let's just get past these people. Ah, I just, um, I just noticed something, actually. This game doesn't have um, the engine sounds on whilst you've got the music on. When you turn the music off, you get the uh, engine sound. So right now we've got the sounds of, you know, the skidding and uh, hitting, and we've got the music as well. But you haven't got the engine sounds. When you turn the music off, you have the engine sounds. Now, when we played Lotus Turbo Challenge the other day, 
that had car engine sounds and what have you, but it didn't have music. Very odd, isn't it? Very odd indeed. I wonder why they did that. I wonder if they just didn't want too much going on at once. I want you to be able to concentrate, I guess. Come oh, on, let's whip this girl. Is it a girl? Oh, we missed her. So anyway, what I was saying, yeah, Lotus Turbo Challenge. So we, um, Cerberus started it off, had, had a go, and then I thought to myself, oh, I'll, gi I'll give him a go. I'll have a go on that and see if I can get any further. And as it transpires, I couldn't do any better than him. I literally got to exactly the same spot on the map. And, uh, and then I couldn't get any further. Oi! So we challenged other people as well and said, yeah, why don't you have a go as well? Sorry, mate. Oh, blimmin' heck, did you see that? I must have really hurt his arm. And um, other people started to play it as well. One of them was Chris 16-bit, of all people. And he absolutely annihilated us. In fact, well, two people did as well. Two people annihilated us, but Chris 16-bit was the first person that did. And uh, oddly enough, oh my god, every single person that played it, apart from me and Cerberus, did really well. They did really well, and in fact, everyone beat us. So I, I don't know what. Uh, Personally, I think there was uh, something wrong with my car. That's what I said in there. I, I heard some noises coming from the wheels, and um, I think someone had been tampering with it beforehand. Possibly Cerberus, because it's the sort of thing you do. But uh, yeah, I wasn't impressed. Oh, look at that old man. He's getting well excited about it. In fact, they all are. Oh, look at them. What's next? Good. I th have I done all five levels? I don't know. We'll do one more race and then we'll call it a day because I'm completely, I've completely lost of where we are. I'm going to do one more race in Vermont and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. So come on, Chris. This one's for you, mate. I don't know if this is the tune I was thinking of or what. I really hope it is because it'll be. Oh, go out and hide then. I don't know. But this is a really nice place, isn't it? It's like autumn, isn't it? Or well, if you're in America, I think you call autumn uh, the fall, don't you? It's like, oh yeah, it's fall. I don't even know. Yeah, we will call our things different. Really weird. Very weird. Right, come on, Chris. We need to have something more of these guys. Come on. We're ninth place. Let's see this in first. Let's send this in first. Let's, let's do this, man. Come on. So you should check out Chris's videos anyway, just before we finish this off, check out Chris's videos. He's, uh, he's got some really good ones, and it, whereas I've just been playing mainly uh, Mega Drive, you know, slash Genesis games, you know, recently, because I'm really into that at the moment. He's, he's non-biased. He goes, he, he, oh my god. He goes and plays anything he wants, really. So he's playing some Mega Drive games, he's playing some NES games, he's played Master System, he's done a lot. He's done a lot, and... Uh, He's, he's very, very good, and one of the reasons why I'd recommend him is, like me, uh, unless you're sitting up of an evening doing it and everyone's in bed, you know, if you're watching YouTube, you're generally doing it when your kids are about, and uh, Chris is a very nice YouTuber to have on, you know, when there's people around. He's very pleasant, you know, he's, you know, very easy listening, and he plays games that the kids will enjoy. Uh, he played a Mario game the other day, and he dressed... He had a nice Super Mario hat on, it was all very funny. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend him. If you, want, if you want some nice, pleasant, you know, easy listening gaming, go give Chris 16 bit a go. He's, he certainly is a good guy. So check him out, man, check him out. Right, let's finish this race. I don't know if there's like a counter that counts me down to the end of the race and whatnot, so I have no idea when I'll finish. That's one thing, if you know when the race is gonna finish, you know, how, where do I check to see how far through the race we are? You know, put it in the comments, and then I'll know for next time. Right, come on, have I got any weapons? No, I've just got... There's a cow asleep in the road, honestly. Vermont. We're not in Vermont. Are we in Vermont? Yeah, in Vermont. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I wish it looked like that over here at the moment. It's all rainy at the moment. Rainy and grey over here. Rainy and grey. Never mind. Never mind. It'll brain up. It'll get, get all the rain out of the way. Right, come on. 
Oh my gosh. I tell you what, I would never ever be doing this. We'd never ever catch me doing this. Oh, did I get it? No. Well, I've still got it. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, Chris. Chris, have you got any tips for me, mate? Have you got any tips? What would you be doing right now? Oh, have you done any street races like this? Just seems like the thing to do. If you're a biker, you need to, because, you know, you don't buy a bike to, you know, go slow and... Ugh. Third place, oh, well, you know. We got the hairy chest, like the, uh, the old saying goes. So, okay, well, anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Big shout out to Chris 16-bit. It's been a bit of a Chris 16-bit obsession episode today. I'm sure he'll love it. But, uh, yeah, check him out. Check his vids out. And uh, subscribe to him. He's very cool. Take it easy, guys. Speak to you again soon. Bye for now.